Life 2023. We're going to do some gameplay. We're going to check out the cash up, the monetization, the features, what's happening with Life nowadays. And we're going to do a Life gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. Life is a tab targeting anime MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Welcome back, Saviors GH here. Before we play the game from the beginning, first, what is Life? It's a tab targeting anime MMORPG released way back in 2005. One of the main features of Life is the flying system, wherein you can go to the sky and travel much more faster than just regular running. By the way, Fly for Fun starts out very slow, and you're gonna be running back and forth frequently at the early parts of the game. But when you get your flying mount, that's where traversing the open world will be much more easier. And now that we're talking about the open world, Flife is one of the earliest MMORPGs that you can say that it's open world because you can go from island to island in Flife without any loading. Flife is developed by Gala Lab, a Korean company that worked with different MMORPGs such as Flife Legacy for mobile devices and Rappels, a classic PC MMORPG. Flife is at its peak popularity in October 2008, which is the time where Flife received one of its major updates since release. Now here's an update about what's happening to the Flife franchise. Currently, there's a new Flife game called Flife Universe, which is a remake of the original Flife. And the difference is, you don't need to install anything and you only need a web browser. You can play Flife Universe on a PC web browser or in the web browser of your mobile device. It's still very recent and it's getting updates regularly. Now going back to the original Flife, the OG Flife, to show you more of the features and what the game has to offer, let's go play the game from the start. Let's go play the game. Okay guys, here's the character creation. This is gonna be quick. I'm gonna show you the character creation, maybe the combat, and then I'm gonna give you a tour of the first town and then maybe Saint Morning. Then we're gonna check out the cash up. Okay, so let's name this character. Let's play as a male character, hairstyle. How many hairstyles? There's only a few hairstyles. Let's pick this one, hair color, and then face. There it goes. Okay. And we're in the game. Look at this, guys. This is the first town in Flife. And as you can see, there's still a bunch of people playing it. Yeah. And look at this. There's still a lot of them. How about let's go to the spot of the mayor NPC. Usually, there's a lot of people there. Oh, yeah. I think this is it over here. I mean, what's happening here? Why is the game stuttering? I think it's because of my recording software. Okay, so I think this is the quest over here. Let's press M. The main quest over here, I think, is the red one. So we're gonna take that in a minute. We're gonna check out the NPCs over here. Look at this, guys. Flife, the original Flife, not Flife Universe, is still very active. There's still a lot of people playing here. But if you compare this to Flife Universe, man, this is really small. Because Flife Universe got a lot of players. Like, a lot. I'm gonna log into Flife Universe after I show you everything here to show you how much bigger Flife Universe is. Look at this. This is Flareen of the original Flife. This is Channel 1 if I'm correct. There's two servers here. Of course, the new one would probably have lesser players. And this is the old server. We're also gonna check out Saint Morning. Okay, so let's open up our bag. See what do we have here. We got some potions, some Town Blink Wing. Beginner support box, guys. Look at this. If we open this, what do we get? There we go. Some soul amplification. This that. Ooh, a bike box. I think this is the hover bike. Yep. Event Tracia. Okay. Some upcut stones. Vital drinks. This is very important. So as this refresher, a reskill, and another box kitty, a pet. So let's open up the pet. Let's close up. How do we close up? Okay, there we go. Close up. Open up the pet. Where's the pet? I think we need to interact. I think we need to check out the menu. The chat is covering the menu. Okay, where's the pet? I'm looking for the pet. Then I saw this stat over here. Uh, okay, let's leave it at that for now. Okay, anyway. Ooh, there we go. Pets in the inventory. Let's equip it. Oh, fly. Look at this. We got a kitty. Okay, so what else do we have? Items. How about this box over here? Can we equip a hover bike at level 1? If I remember correctly, at least you need to be level 16 or around level 20. I forgot. Okay, let's open this. See if we can equip it. Oh, you must reach level 20. Okay. So, let me show you guys the combat. Let's look for an e bat. Let's take a quest from here first. Dialogue. This is how you take a quest here. It's kind of an odd new quest. There it goes. Take it. We need to hunt down e bats. Close this. 
and we're not tracking the quest. How do we track the quest over here? Menu, quest. Here's the quest diary. Q, Flores. Here's our first quest. Check this. And there goes the quest. We're now tracking it. Okay, close the quest. And where do we find e -bats? Most likely just outside. Okay, let's go. Man, look at this. I'm, I'm so happy to see that, man, this game is still active even though there's a new better version. Life Universe, guys, if you haven't checked it out, it's kind of like this. But the difference is, you don't need to install it. You can run Flife on a browser. There's a lot more people playing there. I'm actually playing there, but I had to stop because, man, that game is so grindy. <laughs> okay, so there goes the e bat. Let's try combat, guys. Let me show it to you. Here it is. As you see, combat is stab target. And it's very noisy and we're weak. Okay, we defeated that monster. There goes a wooden sword. Our kitty is auto-looting, which is nice because looting is tedious. It's just seven days though. OMG. Let's go to the character, add some stank. We're gonna play as a mercenary. Oh, we don't have any stat available. Okay, close to this. Hunt down another e bat. Let's go. Okay, that's the combat, guys. Oh, not a small e bat, a normal e bat. Okay, anyway, guys. I'm gonna log into my other character to show you guys Saint Morning if there are people there or what. I'm gonna switch because I have a mount there. I can fly there. This on this account though I couldn't. Okay, so see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, here am I at my other character over here. As you can see, Laren is very populated. So how about let's check out Saint Morning. Let's mount up. If you're not familiar with life, we can fly here. This is one of the main features of this game. Look at this. We can fly. You need to be at this level 20 to be able to ride the hoverboard. Open up the map. In a way, you can consider this as an open world MMORPG because look at this. You can go from island to island without seeing any loading. But there are instance dungeons here though. So some people may argue that it's not open world because there are dungeons where you need to load in. But for the most part, this whole map, the world map, there's no loading. You can go to Saint Morning from Flares without any loading and it's gonna take you a while to get there to fly there especially if you have a slow flying mount look at this we're truly going to the next island there's no loading currently here's the map right we're in Flaren, flares look at this when we get to about over here it's gonna the map is gonna change to the seat morning map here goes the other islands over here garden of freezes and dark on we're not going over there oh yeah how about let me show you the flying combat yeah i think i haven't shown that yet Okay, so let's go to Saint Morning first. Then I'm gonna show you guys the combat when flying. And look at this, guys. Here's Saint Morning. Let's check out the map. There it goes. It's a new island over here. There goes a quest. Man, how amazing this is. We used to play this way back in 2005, if I remember correctly. Man, that was a magical time. Look at this. Ooh, are those NPCs? Oh yeah, it's not other people. In Flife Universe, this place is full. <laughs> it's actually quite laggy here. Okay, let's go down. Oh, look at that. There's another player over here. Is that it? Yeah, there's not that much people in Saint Morning in the original Flife. I'm gonna show you guys Flife Universe. After we fight a flying enemy, we need to look for the bees. If I remember correctly, they're over here. Okay, I'm gonna look for them. Okay, I almost forgot, guys. If you're going to play this game, at the beginning, expect the game to start very slow. What I mean is, you're gonna be running a lot and the maps are large so it's gonna feel like a running simulator <laughs> but when you get your mount your hoverboard everything is gonna be easier going from point a to point b man what's happening here i can't find the flying enemies i'm very i'm pretty sure there are bees over here i've already checked the areas over here between saint morning and flaren and i can't find the bees man it's taking a while i want to show you guys the flying combat it's pretty similar to combat on the ground but still i want to show it to you guys man he's already flaring i still couldn't find any flying enemies man i can't find the moth bees if i'm correct it's called moth bees they're usually in between saint morning and flares i've already scouted this place and i couldn't find them okay i'm just gonna log into life universe and show you guys the flying combat there but before we do that we're gonna check out the cash up guys okay first let's go over here let's see if we can stand up over here we can land there right this mount oh yeah look at this we're on the airship okay let's check out the cash up cash up time guys fly 
monetization. The cash app currency is called cash. And 500 cash is 4 euros. So just do the conversion. Okay, so this is gonna be quick because I play this game and I know the important stuff that you need to see. Let's go to the equipment enhancement, guys. This is very important. This cards over here gives you stats. Okay, you can buy stats in the cash shop. You can put this in your equipment and you're gonna get stats. For example, this land card over here. This land card gives you plus 12 to stamina and plus 500 to HP. This electric card gives plus 12 to dex and critical hit. So yeah, these cards over here gives you stats and you can buy them in the cash shop. Now in the consumable tab, okay, these are the EXP boost guys and the loot rate boost over here and there's different variations for EXP and loot rate. Okay, so how about pets? Okay, we can buy pets in the cash shop. Pets in here can loot. It's very convenient if there's somebody helping you loot. And here's the flying mount. I'm liking this meteor bike over here. If you play this version of life, the original one, they're gonna give you a seven day hover bike it looks cool. If I still have my clip of the hover bike, I'm gonna show it to you on the screen. If not, then okay, never mind. And here's the apparel. Here are the different fashions. It's just fashion, guys. Okay, so I know you saw what you needed to see. So let me go log in to Flyfe Universe to show you how much more popular Flyfe Universe is. Okay, guys, I'm playing Flyfe Universe right now. This is on a web browser. I didn't install anything. I just visited the website, then click play now. And there it goes. Okay, so let's check out Flaren and see if there's still a lot of people playing nowadays. Let's go. Let's fly. Look at this. Here's the first area. Let's check out. And how do we... Okay, over here. Why is the original life not Christmas themed? Okay, anyway. As you can see, guys, there's a lot more people over here. And there's a lot of servers over here, by the way, guys. There's an American server, European server, and the Asian server. Okay, so let's check out Saint Morning. Let's see if it's still full. Last time I played, this place is jam-packed. But in before, there's only one server, if I remember correctly. Now there's a lot of servers. It's for the better because, man, there's a lot of people. I didn't experience any lag. Oh, look at this. There goes. Flying combat, guys. We're gonna attack this small bee over here. Let's go. Okay, we're approaching them. I pressed the one for the basic attack. Let's see if we can attack this flying enemy over here. Let's go, bro. Why are you running? Stop running. Boom. Look at this, guys. There goes the flying combat. And he's almost defeated. And we won. Okay. Open up our bag. Let's see how much money do I have here. I have 2.5 million. <laughs> Why am I level 24? If I remember correctly, I'm about level 36. What's happening here? Okay, anyway. Let's go to Saint Morning. And see if there's still a lot of people vending there. And there goes Saint Morning. This place looks nice. Is there a lot of people vending over here? I think they're all gone. Are they? Oh no, look at this. <laughs> they're not loading in. Let's go. Look at this, guys. Look at the amount of vendors over here. I think the draw distance is at low. Yeah. Look at this. And why is my mount very slow? <laughs> Man, there's a lot of people playing here. This is the Asian server. I'm playing a channel one. There are different channels here. I think about five channels. So yeah. Man, this is surprising. I was expecting the OG of life to have less players but it's still very active so if you still want to check out the original Flife it's still playable but if you're asking me if you want to start playing Flife again better go play the newer version of Flife Universe because it will get more updates regularly and it's cross-play you can play with one account on different platforms and guys do you want to see the upcoming MMORPGs of 2003 and beyond there it goes on the screen leave a like before you go and this is Game Hardcore. See you in the next one.